What's up, sports fans? Eldridge Bell back with another edition of Letter of Sports Show. And today, Wednesday, Game 3, crucial Game 3 for the Cavs. Respect. And there's a huge blow today. Kevin Love just announced, or a little bit ago, announced he's out for Game 3 with a concussion. And man, I was going to say, I was hoping against hope that he would be healthy enough to, to play in Game 3. But, you know, can't play around with the concussion. And honestly, I I really don't see how the Warriors can win. Or not, not the Warriors. Uh, the Cavs can win without Kevin Love playing a, a huge part in in, uh, in this series. But he's out for, for tonight's game. And that's going to put even more pressure on LeBron James. Man, you King James, you got, you got to put up huge numbers tonight. Just to even make the game respectable. I'm thinking... But the way this Cavs team has been playing, LeBron James probably got to get you 35, 10, and 15. If he, if he doesn't get those numbers, then it might be another blowout. J.R. Smith, you got to show up because you acting like this is just a, some throwaway game. You haven't showed up since since the finals. Uh, Mr. Buckets, Kyrie Irving, you got to get buckets. You gotta, you gotta be one of the top five point guards. Everyone says you are. You haven't showed up. Channing Fry, I've already told you they gotta run. They gotta get that man open because he's been a no show. Um, uh, Iman Shumpert, he, I think, I thought he's, he's, he's not much of a scorer, but he has been doing good on the defensive side, relatively speaking. Uh, but it, it all falls on LeBron James's shoulders. Is that fair? No. But when you're considered the best all-around player in the game, you really get a fair assessment of your play or, or your responsibilities or division of labor. you got to have all the labor on your back this game. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. Uh, for the Warriors, keep doing what you're doing. The bench has showed up. you got eight players who are, who are essentially going to beat five play, or who essentially be two players, really, on the Cavs team. So uh, keep, keep having ball movement. Keep having everybody... Uh, players one through one through eight do work and for my prediction for the game with Kevin Love out I'm sorry it's gonna be another blowout I, I really am I really I really believe that hopefully LeBron James can get your 30 10 and 15 but I, I don't know if he can get that against this Warriors team especially since his jumper isn't falling it's been his his jumper has been atrocious this, this series but if he can light up maybe things will change but I don't I don't predict or think that they'll win this uh this crucial game three. So they, the Warriors go up 3-1, 3-0, excuse me, and in a blowout fashion. So that's my quick preview. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me, do you think the Warriors, the, uh, do you think the Warriors will win this series by, win this game by a lot? Or do you think the Cavs can make this game competitive and actually still won from the Warriors? Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you think somebody else has to show up outside of LeBron James. Tell me who else you think can show up in a in Kevin Love's absence. Leave comments and suggestions, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Letter It Sports Show. Man, it's going to be a walkthrough. I'm calling it right now.